Hey YouTube, today I want to show how I went about chaining a Goal Zero Yeti 400 to an external battery. If you look on the Goal Zero website, you'll probably notice that they sell a chaining cable, but it's meant to connect two Goal Zero Yetis together, not to connect an external battery. And while you can sort of cobble together a way to go from the Goal Zero to an external battery with an assortment of Goal Zero cables, some of those cables are different gauges and not all 10 gauge, which is what the chaining cable is. So to do this safely, I'll just show you my approach to this. So what I did is I bought a battery box from Amazon and a battery, 33 amp hour battery from Amazon as well. And I'll post the links to those in the, the notes below. Uh, the next thing I got was a cable from a company called PowerWorks, which goes from a battery terminal uh, to a fuse to a 45 amp Anderson power pole connector. Um, so all you really have to do is you put the new 33 amp hour battery in the box and the 33 amp hour battery is the, the same capacity as what comes in the, the, goal, the Yeti 400. And then you just take the terminals and you screw them down. The important thing to note is that you, uh, it should go a battery to cable terminal followed by washer, lock nut, and then the, the uh, bolt that holds it all together. You never want to put uh, the washer or anything else in between the battery terminal and the connector cable, so just make sure it's in that order and do that for both. Uh, you connect them up, it, it comes with, the cable comes with fuses pre-installed, and then all you have to do to plug this up is you just match red to red, black to black, and then just plug it in. And that's it, and now you've effectively doubled your uh, amp hours from 33 to 66 uh, and you've done it for a fraction of the cost. I believe all the, the pieces and parts here was just around $100 if not a little less. Uh, the reason I used the battery box was just to for safety to ensure that uh, I can cover this up and tie it shut and make sure people can't touch both terminals at the same time. And the other thing you want to make sure of before you connect these two things together is that you've charged both batteries fully. Um, so make sure this is charged fully. You can use something like a, a battery tender or something like that to charge this fully. Make sure the Yeti's charged fully uh, before you connect them. Uh, you don't want to have them at different charges. Um, it will supposedly uh, really uh, hurt the batteries. And so uh, that's about it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to post them in the comments below, uh, but I hope you like this solution.